Um, we met through, uh, Frank did a uh, mix for us on uh, when we had a reissue of the Innocence record. Um, and he did a mix of Phantom Drive, which I really, really loved. And I heard some of his own stuff, which I really like. And we had loads and loads of fans saying, you must work with Frank, you must work with Frank. Twitter went nuts. And that's what happened, yeah. We're, we're currently working in the, the annals of Mute Records, which is um, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean, we're nearly done. I mean, there's only like two more tracks on the record to finish. And um, the way, in terms of the creative process, um, Vince and Andy will give me a demo. Um, generally, nothing too heavy in the production. And there'll be sort of a, a rough guide to a song or a complete song. And um, I just take it, they just say, do what you want. And, you know, it's sometimes I, I will take it, like the, the new track we've done, which we'll try and listen to in a minute, you know, it's it's it could literally be a whole different song. I mean, if you heard like some of the before and afters, they just sound like two, they're made on two different planets. And that's been great to be able to have that freedom. It's I'm not like conforming to anything, which is great. So. And then Vince will take it back, he'll take the whole session back, and then he'll add all his crazy analog synthesizers in afterwards. So it's been a really good back and forth process. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm really loving the whole thing. You, you've got your own stuff coming out as well, haven't you? Yes. So, yeah, yeah no, they've got um, my album's coming out in September um, on Island Records and uh, Cherry Tree Records in America. And um, the singles just one of the singles has just come out. Do it in the AM, and um, it's the title track for the album. And um, yeah, it's all very exciting. Yeah. Things in pipes. I think it's really important as well to like get someone that um, Vince Clark feels really comfortable with, you know, and, and uh, he loves it that Frank's like so enthusiastic and like really into his synths and you know um, and likes what Vince does. And uh, I, I think Vince feels once he gets respect like that, he'll give somebody free reign, and that's what Frank's has really. He's, you know, he's, he's doing really amazing work. And the, the thing that is really crazy for me is. Um, Having the, being 25 and being able to, to work with veterans and such as Andy and, and Vince. You know, when I was in um, Vince's studio in, in Maine, it was just, you know, there's just all this history of just synthesizers that have made incredible records. And, um, you know, just being able to sit in there, chain smoking, working for hours on end. Freezing. <laughs> it was like four feet of snow outside. It's in a log cabin. And um, it was it was really dramatic. But Vince is a great guy. It's, it's a shame he can't be here at the moment. Yeah, I do I really miss him. But it's quite um I quite like being sandwiched between the two Vinces. <laughs> <laughs> Mix at the moment, we're kind of like finishing off really. Um, Hopefully Vince will do some overdubs and they'll be added. Uh, I mean Vince Clark. And then um, uh, I mean they were gonna put it out in June, but I think it just depends really on I think they want to put it out as quickly as they can. But I'm thinking so they can set it up properly, probably October for the album. <laughs>